Hey, what's up guys? Today we're talking about lies. Now, according to this university from uh, somewhere, we lie around five to six times a day. Imagine how many times we lie a year. And you know what? The truth is we learn to lie from our parents. They go ahead and tell us not to lie, and then they teach us our first lies. So, so you're saying that the Santa guy brings me presents on Christmas? Oh yes, but only if you're good and you don't lie. What? She just lied to you right there. And they tell you this for Santa, the Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy. Oh yes, the big three, the Legion of Doom. But just take a moment to examine what they were teaching us. Santa, he brings into your house, eats all your food, and maybe, just maybe, leaves some tainted toys from China. And that's if he thinks you're good. If not, he'll leave some coal. But how does he find out if I'm good or not? Um, because he's watching you. He's always watching you. He, he always has his eye on you. It's like every time you do something, it, it pops up on his computer and, and you know, and he can see it like a Facebook wall. You know, and every time you do something, it's like a status and it shows up. So you know, so you better watch out. You know who else watches you all the time and decides whether you're naughty or nice? Buffalo Bill. Oh, that's real naughty, yes. He has puts the lotion on his skin or else he gets the hose again. If I got a stocking full of skin lotion, I'd move. Not the Easter Bunny. So this is Bunny, right? Not a normal sized bunny, a 7 foot tall bunny. This bunny can dunk on Shaq. Anyways, this is some big ass mother bunny, alright? And he can talk and stuff, but all he really wants to talk about is marshmallows. Not that you'd care about what he's saying, because you'd be too busy wondering what the f he has to do with Easter. And finally, the Tooth Fairy. Oh, how these three love breaking and entering. But this time, it's a tweaked out old lady who wants your teeth. Why does she want your teeth? What is she doing with all those teeth? This bitch obviously has an addiction problem with teeth. So why the f are we enabling her? What are we, her teeth dealers? And even then, we're giving away a tooth that took years to make for a dollar. A dollar! I mean, yeah, sometimes she leaves more, but come on, even cocaine doesn't take that long to make. But aside from the fictional characters, what else did they tell us? No, I don't want to get a shot! It's gonna hurt! Oh, trust me, honey. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. Ah! 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 I thought you said it was gonna hurt you too! What? Oh, I meant emotionally. What? They also say, son. Mommy and I are gonna take a nap now, okay? All right. Napping, right. Because when people nap, they moan. This next one, total bitch move. Honey, did you take a poop in daddy's sandwich? You best say the truth now. If you tell me the truth, you won't get in trouble. Okay, yes. Son of a bitch, no! you better not share my sandwich again. Here's another classic. Billy, get your heads out of there. If you keep playing with your private so much, you'll go blind. So that's why daddy has glasses. Hmm? Yep. Parents taught us how to lie. And then we either became good liars or bad liars. But everybody lies. Some people lie about their age, their weight, their background, their size, if you know what I mean. But the place most people lie in is relationships. Men and women both lie in relationships. Women, they was wrong. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you and your mother that's what they mean, but this is what they say. I'm fine, I'm not mad. See, when women are mad, they expect you to know exactly why they're mad, and they expect you to apologize for it. Oh, what's wrong, babe? I'm fine, I don't wanna talk about it. When men are mad, they don't wanna talk about it. Well, they do, but if they do, they'll start an argument. An argument they'll never win. Because we all know, women always win arguments, even if they're wrong. And if they don't, the argument never ends. And when that happens, Men have to resort to another lie. I can be friends with any guys I want because we're just friends and we're not doing anything, but you could not be looking at other girls, okay? Because other will get you to do and I'm gonna be mad and I'm gonna keep in my face. I'm gonna Okay, okay, you know what? You know what? You're right. You're right. Aw, I'm so glad we agree. Let's go mess around. You are right. You escape to a very long argument. You know you can't win, but you tell her she's right so she can shut the up. But women have a similar technique in bed. They'll do the whole acting thing, say it was great, because a man is not getting anywhere. He's trying too hard, and he might hurt himself. That's their way of getting out of a terrible predicament without hurting your feelings. Now, a guy may not give a shit about your feelings, but may seem like he does when you tell him a lie like this. Babe, does this dress make my ass look fat? Tell me the truth, I won't get mad. A lie that reminds you about your parents. If you tell me the truth, you won't get in trouble. From that experience, you learn that telling a lie may save your ass. Even if her ass looks like a f***ing pig's in that dress. 
Um, no, you, you look fantastic. You look like Katy Perry and Shakira got together and had a baby. Huh? Yes, I knew it. I knew it. You see, your parents lying to you was not a bad thing. They gave you the experience to save your ass. Because lies are not always bad. As a matter of fact, when it comes to resumes, they can find you a good job. In politics, of course. <laughs> when we were little, they tell us not to lie. And they tell us the story about the boy who cried wolf. In this story, a little boy is taking care of some sheep, and he gets bored, so he decides to cry wolf. The villagers come up and he tells them there's no wolf, so they leave. The next day, he does the same thing. The villagers come up, he says there's no wolf. So they leave, this time really pissed off. The third day, there really is a wolf. And he cries and he cries, but they won't come up. They no longer believe him. They tell us the moral of this story is to never tell a lie. But I think the real moral of that story is to never tell the same lie twice. With that said, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Oh, one, two, three, two.